Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to show you how to make some really big Christmas decor. Let's get into it. This project is going to consist of six pieces, three trees, and three houses. I started by cutting the bases for the trees from a scrap piece of 2x12. I'm using a thicker piece of wood for the weight since my trees are going to be pretty tall. For the trunks of the trees, I split some 2x4 scraps to make some square stock. Are you working on some really cool decor for this holiday season? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. For the branches of the trees, I'm going to be using some furring strips. Now I could have easily cut these down in the shop with some scraps, but these are less than a dollar a piece at the hardware store, so I figured $10 well worth it. I decided to make each tree a different pattern to add a little variety so they all don't look exactly the same. It will also help emphasize the rustic look that I'm going for. Once all three trees were assembled, I moved to the houses. I started the houses with some 1x6 material, but the scale looked funny next to the big trees, so I went with a scrap piece of 1x12 that I found in the shop and used some leftover 1x4s for the bases and roofs. Then it was time for paint. After the houses were painted, we decided to lightly sand them to bring in that rustic farmhouse look. Then Christina got to work stenciling all three houses.
right, our massive Christmas decor is finished and I'm really happy with the result. It's just so big and cool. It'll look great next to a fireplace or next to a front door to greet people. It just really makes that wow statement for the holidays. Um, on these trees, what I did is I actually left the bases disconnected so that'll make it a little easier for storage. I also like the fact that the pieces are separated, so you don't have to keep them all together in one group. You could break them up and put a few at the front door, a few in the living room, and have an ongoing theme throughout your house. You could even add more trees or more houses and let your collection grow. It's a really cool project, and it's something that you can just expand on over the years. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. We have lots of other projects on our channel, so make sure to check those out, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear what you thought of this project in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.